Wow. Just sensing your magicka reserves. You truly are incredible. Well, thank you, Serana. And thank you to everybody as well for joining me on my second from last, hopefully, Dawnguard video. Um, so, we finally got to the Inner Sanctum. Wow. Uh, going for Oriel's bow. And just going to quickly gather these up, have a go around here. See if we can wake some of these dudes up. Take the items off of them. This is your first time watching. If you've watched a couple and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Trying to upstage me, aren't you? And follow along for more of our journey through Skyrim. As you can probably tell, I'm not very good at talking and doing the action stuff at the same time. Don't want loads of Elven swords. Anything decent on them? No, I don't want that. Let's take a couple of potions though. Just for some money. What's that? You conjure Atronach, Storm Atronach. Get rid of that. Oh, I've got the magic to be able to cast it though, that's the question. Right at the top, where I wasn't even looking. And, uh... Atronach, expert. Do you know what? Mm. I'll favourite it for now. Oh, I did like my Wrath Man. Oh, I went down like that. Shattered him, really. You know, sometimes I like to role play. No, no not like that. Necklace of Hell. You like pretending I'm a monster that goes around pinching people on the bottom? It's rather fun. You should try it. Don't want to know more. I mean, although pinching bottoms is quite fun too. Sophia, behave yourself. That's just looking quite good, aren't they? They are breaking quite easily, though. My last video actually took me nearly an hour and 20 minutes to make. Um, by the time I'd edited it, edited it all down, I think I ended up with about 34, 35 minutes, which I put out. This one should be a bit shorter than that. With any luck. Did you really come here Kira Vietha, Vietha, that's his name. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your yes, he is usefulness Serana. is at an end! Where did I go? You know what, I'm not trying to hit them. I'm not two-handed. Sorry, I know we're right in the middle of a battle and everything. Uh, type. Well, I need two handed weapons. No, that's a shame. Oh well. That's the Charles is always going for me. I'll try and make this quick. You 
delay nothing but your own death. I don't think so, some somehow sunshine. Oh Is that it? Pulling the ceiling down on the heads now, aren't they? <laughs> oh, boy, big boy. Proper surrounding them, anyway. Take out some of his more little... Oh, really? Yeah, right. I'm going to jump back to pretty much where we was in that fight. Okay, this is roughly where it was when I died. Oh, the hell breaking this. And this time I'm not planning on dying. But I did just make some other one. Uh, Sephir even. Let's get a bit closer. Right, that's a bit better. Second time lucky. I think so. I know we can. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Well, oh, he's getting a damn good ration for that one. Enough, Earl. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. The ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're, you're a vampire, but Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire? Ariel's bow? It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all oh, this yeah, time go for on, someone Sarada. with my blood to come along. Now you eat him Too off the edge. Go on. I intend on keeping Over there. It. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. <laughs> Take a skin. <laughs> oh, he's taking a massive. Where's he going? Where's he going? Ooh, where's he going? Can't see him. Yeah, boy! Here he comes. Oh, yeah. That's what you get. Making false prophecies. I am going to take mortar and pestle. Interesting. Lord of Sapphire, take his crown and his dagger and his pearls and his onyx and his 
elixirs and his vampire dust and his ancient Felma curious, ancient Felma boots and ancient Felma gauntlets. And now you're in your pants, Mr. Vampire. Mm. So I got a little bit carried away and excited there. Hello, Gillibor. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. Yeah, actually, the betrayed what? weren't to blame. What are you talking about? It's kind of the other way around. A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're yeah, welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Nice, look at this. And it's scoped. And it's all sparkly. That's a nice looking bow. And you know what? It's mine. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so it's good to speak to you again. I'm not interested in anything you got to say. Apart from The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Nice. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. The so bow what does it draws do? its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds pretty That's good. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Then I would like some, please. Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Right, so I want some sun hallowed arrows. I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Okay, can you make me some? Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time, so if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Yes, please. Absolutely. I can only do 20 at a time. Just make me as many as I you can. I'd be more than happy to help. It's... Uh, Oriole's bow, we're going to have to equip that. Yeah, where's these sun hallowed arrows? Have I got any more elven arrows? Not as shiny no. as I was expecting. Still, I don't know who might have. Was there something you wanted? Yeah, I'll trade some things with you. Well, okay. But only because it's you? Thank you. No. Well, right. I rather enjoyed a little chat. Yeah, and I think we're done here. So places come down too. Or what I might do. Sit in the throne for a minute. Queen Elf Gifu of the Snow Elves. I don't think so. It's Dragonborn. Not as shiny Do you as have I was something expecting. to say? Still. Stop it's yada 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 in. Can we see over the edge here? I wonder. Don't push me off. Well, that's where we fought the dragons. Um, they did end up just over by those trees, bit in the middle of the screen. After I'd loaded out this cell and come back in again. So it wasn't all lost. So let's go to Fort Dongard, I believe, now. 
Oh no, I speak to Serana. Hello, it's Serana. Not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. Yeah, if let's we don't, do it. He'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. You know he's gonna have to die, don't you? I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's it's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. So let's do it together. To the castle and kick the front door in. We're gonna be knee deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. I reckon he might as well. I think this is a pretty good place to wrap up this episode as well. A bit shorter than the last one, to be pleased to hear. And well, I, um, if you did enjoy this episode, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And what I'll do is I'll meet you all at Fort Dawnguard in the next episode. And then we're going to go and take Harkon down and complete the Dawnguard quest line. After that, we are going to do one of these. If we don't do one of them, we do one of these. <laughs> Loads of quests. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you at Fort Dawnguard next episode. Take care now. Bye bye. Have you ever tried bareback? I didn't like it. It started to make me a little sore after a while. What's with the funny face? I was talking about horse riding. 